A first of its kind cybersecurity center is coming to Hermitage, and businesses and education come together in Columbiana County to create career pathways in the oil and gas industry. This is the Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. The Linden Point Development Corporation is launching the Pennsylvania Cybersecurity Center inside the East Center at Linden Point in Hermitage. Officials say it will be the first center of its kind in Pennsylvania. The center will work with area businesses, schools, and workforce development organizations to create career pathways into the cybersecurity industry. It will also incubate cybersecurity startups. Linden Point Development Corporation Executive Director Jeffrey Meyer says there are currently 1,600 cybersecurity positions available in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. A pilot program with 30 students will launch in February with a kickoff meeting planned for later this month. Businesses and education centers in Columbiana County are coming together to take advantage of the jobs coming down the road as a result of the growing oil and gas industry. Shale drilling and large projects such as Royal Dutch Shell's cracker plant in nearby Manaka, Pennsylvania were the driving force behind a forum held at Kent State University Salem campus Thursday. It was held by the Columbiana County Business Advisory Council. Tad Harold is chairman. To make sure that the schools are providing the education and providing the students that they, uh, they can stay in Columbiana County, earn a good living, and help the employers make their product or do their service uh, in, in such a way that we can be competitive. Marie Williams, Director of Teaching and Learning at the Columbiana County Education Service Center, says the goal of the forum was to bridge the gap between education and business. Trends in education right now, um, it's looking at different pathways. We know that every student may not necessarily go to college, uh, so we want to make sure that they know the different uh, pathways that they can follow, the different uh, job opportunities that are out there, the different resources that are out there, and I don't think students necessarily realize how many are right back in our own backyards. As of Thursday afternoon, Ohio Means Jobs reported nearly 230 statewide job openings, with more than 5,000 job openings within 20 miles of Lisbon. You can read more at businessjournaldaily.com. And the city of Youngstown has sold two lots on the south side to the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation to assist in its efforts to clean up the Glenwood Avenue corridor. The two lots are located across the street from the former Foster Art Theater, also owned by YNDC. The lots will be cleaned up and seeded with grass and trees this spring. YNDC is also planning to renovate the Foster, though still determining the best end use for the theater. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. We'll be back on Monday with more local business news. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: It's knowing you were treated right every time.